okay let us continue with the module 1 so we already covered about the purpose of the database system in the previous video we already discussed about the file system the database system the advantages of having a database system etc we already covered so now let's move to the uh, how to view the data stored in the database okay a major purpose of a database system is to provide the users only with an abstract view of the data that is the system hides a certain information that of how the data are stored and maintained from the users okay the users will be given with only an abstract view so to retrieve the data efficiently from the database usually complex data structures are used for representing the database okay but many of the uh, database users are not computer trained professionals the developers hides this complexity through several levels of abstraction so that the users can interact with the database system smoothly okay so for that a three level architecture is used in the dbms for implementing this data abstraction okay so the three levels described by the ANSI spark are the highest level is the external level or the view level the second level or the middle level is the logical level or the conceptual level and the third level is the physical level or the internal level so from the figure it is uh, clear that in the physical level we are dealing with the databases physical structure of the databases who we are going to store the uh, data okay so the structure of the data uh, used for storing the in data in the databases so that all things are covered in the physical level and at the highest level the highest level is the external level there we will be having some applications used to interact with the database so these applications are interacting with the database through this database management system which comes in the middle level that is the logical level so these are the three levels of ansi spark architecture okay so we will be having the external level, the conceptual level, the physical level, right? The schema that representing the external level that can be called as external schema. Similarly, we will be having the conceptual schema and the internal schema for uh, representing the different levels. Okay. So what do you mean by schema that I will cover in the later slides? Okay. So why actually we are in need of this three level architecture? The main objective is to separate each user's view of the database from the way the database is physically represented. So why are why we are in need of this separation? So for that there are several reasons are there. Uh, let's look into the first one. Each user should be able to access the same data, but they may have different customized view of the data. For example, let us consider an, uh, a database of an employee. So we are going to store the employee number, employee name, employee address, what all. We can store the phone number, email, the salary details, designation, department he belongs to, etc. etc. We can store in the employee database. Okay. Suppose a user one, let the user one wants to know the particular employee name and the department that he belongs to. So the user one just want that information. He can get that from this employee database. Similarly, let another user, uh, let it be user two. He, that user two wants to know the employee name, his designation, the department that he belongs to along with the field salary. Okay, so that information are in need by the user two. Similarly, another user just want to know the phone number or mail ID of a uh, particular employee. Okay, so the three different users are in need of three different uh, data from the same data stored in the databases. Right, that one is possible if you are going to have a, uh, if you are maintaining a separation. That means each user should be able to access the same data, but they are having different, different customized view for the data. 
okay user should not have to deal directly with the physical database storage de details the storage details should be hidden from the users because the users are not computer trained professionals professionals so the complexity of data storage etc are need to be hidden from the users to make it more comfortable to deal with the database systems okay the database administrator should be able to change the storage structures without affecting the user view so though the administrator is changing the uh, physical uh, storage details the user should not get disturbed it the user view should not get uh, affected okay so for all that we are in need of a separation okay so that is the purpose of having this 311 architecture okay so what all are the three levels or the lowest level will be having the internal level the conceptual level and the highest level is the external level okay let's just first consider the lowest level of abstraction internal level or physical level this level describes how the data are actually stored in the databases so it covers the physical implementation of the database to achieve optimal runtime performance and storage space utilization so it covers the details about what all are the data structures required to store the data the file organizations etc so it interfaces with the operating system access methods to place the data on the storage devices it builds the indices retrieve the data and so on so these points are this points that deals with how the data are actually stored in the database will be described in this internal level okay fine so the internal level is concerned with the storage space allocation uh, how to uh, that represent the data how the data is accessed if you are using any data encryption technique or data compression technique all these details will be represented in the internal level okay so the next higher level of abstraction is the conceptual level or logical level and this level describes what data are stored in the database and what all are the relationships existing between this data okay so it describes the data stored in the database what all are the data required to be stored in the database and what's the relationship existing between this data so this database administrator who must decide what information to be kept in the database with the help of this logical level of abstraction okay the logical level or the conceptual level represents all the entities all the data their attributes the relationship between the data uh, then the constraints on the data the conditions on the data the semantic information the security information the integrity information all the details regarding with the data can be represented in the conceptual level okay the highest level of abstraction is the view level or the external level and this level describes only the part of the entire database that is only the data required by the end user so many of the database users do not need all the information stored in the database instead they need to access only a part of the database so we already explained in the uh, employees example the user 2 just requires or the user 3 just requires the employee name along with his phone number okay so only a part of the information is required by the users so that can be uh, done with the help of this view level so the view level of abstraction exists to simplify their interaction with the system so the user may not need to know all the details that are stored in the databases they just want to have they just they can simplify their interaction with the system if you are going to have the view level of abstraction so the system may provide many views for the same database so as we said in the previous case we will be having a view for the user one similarly we can have a different view for the user two user three likewise so depends upon the customer requirements we can have different views for the same database okay so can you tell me why we are going to have this view level of course view level provides a level of security okay so the users can be set 
to set up to exclude the data that some users should not see for example if you want to hide the salary details of a particular employee we can do that one with the help of this view level so it provides a level of security okay so it provides a mechanism to customize the appearance of the data in the database so a view can present a consistent unchanging picture of the structure of the database even if the underlying database is changed okay so now let's move to the an example that represents the different levels of abstraction so as we know we'll be having three levels physical level logical level and view level okay fine good so now let's consider uh, an instructor the details about the instructor similar to the employee we are here we are giving the term as instructor okay what all things we are going to store we are going to store the instructor id the name the department the instructor belongs to and his salary okay so this data the what all data that we are going to store so that will be described in the logical level right then what is the data structure used for storing this one that one will be described by the physical level and the view level hides information for security purpose for example if you want to hide that particular field called salary we can do that one right so with the view level hides the information for the security purpose so these are the three levels of abstraction okay let's consider another example here also we are considering the staff the staff consists uh, the database consists of the staff number the branch name branch number the first name the last name the date of birth the, the salary details and the branch number now look at the last line of uh, that uh, specified in the internal level struct staff star next that is the, it is appointed to the next record that means it is a self referential structure right so this data structure used for storing this data is a self referential structure so that details will be covered in the physical level also called as internal level so what all are the data that we are going to store in this that covered in the conceptual level or the logic level so from that particular data we are going to have different views for example if you want to have the first name the last name the age which is a derived attribute from the date of birth and the salary details so the user one record that much details so that can be called as a view one another user let it be the user two the user two just want to have the staff number along with his last name and the branch number so that that's another view uh, view from the same data so we can have different views from the same data okay so this is an another example which describes the three levels of abstraction hope the levels of uh, abstraction is clear to you we are having a three level ansi spark architecture for describing the data abstraction in the dbms okay